In this video, we're going to see how to apply the Prime Faces themes to our J2EE web application. Prime Faces comes with a large number of themes. Some of them you have to pay for, others are community based. And the nice thing is that Prime Faces also comes with a nice assortment of widgets, like this table widget here, which uh, we'll eventually use something similar to that. What's neat is if you go to the showcase at Prime Faces, you can click on this menu option. PF themes, and you can switch the theme. We'll change this one to Excite, like so. That looks pretty nice. And you can see how each of the widgets looks with that theme. So uh, lots of good themes here we can use. Glass X, I kind of like that one. If we go to Glass X, that looks pretty nice. So what we need to do to use these themes are several things. We need to add a Maven dependency. But this dependency has its own repository, so we need to add that repository as well. We have to add an entry into WebXML which says which theme we want to use. We have to add the XML and SP entry to the meta element in the head section of our JSF file that's going to use this theme. And then we also have to change the H tags, the default JSF tags that begin with H, change them to p tags, which is going to reference this JSF library. So let's take a look. As usual, I have taken the text that we're going to need and I've pasted it into a little text file here. Uh, if it's too quick to type, which I understand, I recommend checking out the GitHub repository I have for this project, which will have all this information as soon as I commit and push after this video. So to start, I'm going to take this dependency and this is one I just got off the Prime Faces website. This is going to give me all of the free themes, all themes. And I'm going to run back to my Eclipse project. And I'm going to go to Palm XML. And I'm going to add this dependency down uh, wherever, but towards the bottom. Whoops. And in the dependency section. There we go. And save. Now, if you save at this point, a lot of times it will give you an error saying it doesn't know where to find this dependency. And that's because you have to specify the repository that we see here. We have to tell it to look here. So I'm going to copy. And the repository information, you see if we, let's see, it's probably going to give us an error here. The mouse over. Missing artifact. Okay. So if I go towards the top, under packaging but above build, I can add a repository where it should look for dependencies like this. A quick Control shift f and Eclipse will format everything nicely, but be sure to do that before you commit and push your project. Uh, I will be looking at formatting when I'm grading. And we save. Okay, one more thing we need then is in the Palm, I'm sorry, in the Web XML, we need this nugget that tells us which of the themes we want to use. So here it says Bootstrap, uh, but we can certainly change that. I'm going to right click and choose Copy. And I'm going to go back to WebXML for this project and con context param. That's what we want. So I'll paste it in there. And again, uh, Control Shift F will uh, make it look nice and pretty and save. Now, Bootstrap, that one's fine, but I did find out that I like that Glass X. And let's see here. If I go to the top, PF Themes, uh, Glass X. So I'm going to switch this instead of Bootstrap. I'm going to switch it to Glass X and save. And now I'm going to go back and refresh my page. Okay, let's take this out to the full. There we go. And refresh. If you see, nothing changed, right? Looks kind of disappointing, doesn't it? So the reason why is on this index page, we haven't used any of the tags from Prime Faces. So I'm going to go to the index page. I'm going to control M, look at it in high def. And okay, first of all, remember we need that P element, which I already have. So I'm sorry, I said earlier it's in the head section. It's actually in the HTML root element. XML and SP. That means if we have any tags that begin with P, it's going to look at the Prime Faces library and figure out how to resolve those tags. So let me change H input text to P input text. The Prime Faces components are 
generally a lot of them are very similar to traditional HTML or JSF components. And then some of them are more enhanced, uh, things like the calendar, things like that. So I'm going to switch input text and command button to P, save, and now let's go back and refresh. Okay. Well, with it refreshed, you see that the text box here looks a little bit different. Now, we've lost the command button and everything that follows it, so I must have a mistake. So P, command button, value, submit, action, equals search, plans, execute. Let's take a look and see what our parameters are for that command button. So I go back to faces, and uh, let's look at input uh, button. Button will work even better. Command button. Okay, P, command button, value, ID, uh, action, listener, style, class. If I take a look, the one thing that's different is this says action listener. Now let's go back and take a look at our page, and we see that with JSF we simply use action. So with prime faces, let's change this to action listener and save. And just verify I do have the P. Okay, everything looks good. So I'm going to save, and now I'm going to go back, and as I refresh, we see that this button submit is now formatted more like a JSF component. Just for SMGs, let's try out a different theme. We saw that that was the uh, that theme was called the uh, glass theme, glass X. Let's try the frog theme, lay frog. Okay. And so I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to try. I'm going to go to my web XML control, and I'm going to change this to le frog save now you are going to want to restart the server as well so i'll pause while that restarts now with the server restarted let's take a look remember this is the old glass x theme i refresh and you see it has the lay frog theme the uh, green submit button and kind of a stylized uh, search box as well so you see with prime faces it's very easy to take a series of these pre-grown themes or even purchase some of the themes that they have commercially available and reskin your entire application very quickly. It's also possible to use that in concert with the CSS navigation that we wrote in a previous video to give us sticky top and left sections and then a uh, box in the middle that will scroll with that top and left in place. So, so I hope this uh, video has giving you what you want. And in our next video, we're going to look at some of the more complex uh, prime faces widgets. Hope to see you then.